movie begins by introducing a young guy named Jason Brady, who enjoys playing the guitar in his room. During his break from school, Jason likes to make videos for his YouTube channel. However, when the school break ends, Jason and his sister, Zoe, are sent to a Catholic boarding school. The principal of this school is named Rebecca. Rebecca introduces a new nun who just arrived at the school. This nun name is Sophia. Rebecca gives Sophia a tour of the entire school. Along the way, Sophia meets Jason and learns that she will be his teacher. One night, Sophia lies in bed watching one of Jason's music videos on her laptop and kisses the screen. The next morning, Sophia enters the classroom and greets the students, but she notices that Jason and Sarah are too busy talking to each other and don't notice her. This makes her feel jealous, so she decides to change Sarah's seats. After the class when Jason is kissing Sarah, Sophia sees them and feels jealous. In her anger, she approaches them and tells Sarah to stay away from Jason. Afterward, Sophia invites Jason to her room to talk to him after class. She purposely leaves the door slightly open, and when Jason arrives, he is surprised to see a beautiful view through the gap. Sophia pretends not to notice Jason by wearing earphones. Jason, feeling nervous, quickly leaves. Sophia's plan works. The next day is the weekend, and all the students' families come to pick them up. Sophia sees Jason talking to Sarah again and feels jealous once more. She then tells sister, Rebecca, that her Aunt Frances is in hospital, and that's why she needs to leave, Rebecca allows Sophia to leave. At home, Jason wants to focus on his music career, while Jason's mom supports his decision, his father is disappointed and wants him to go to college. This lack of faith from his father makes Jason upset, so he skips dinner to play guitar by the pool instead. Sophia is there, keeping an eye on him. Next day at school, sister Sophia sneaks into the girls' dormitory while everyone is asleep. She enters Sarah's room and secretly places drugs in her books, intending to frame Sarah and get her expelled from the school. Unexpectedly, sister Rebecca catches her in the act. Sophia tries to argue that she was only checking the dormitory security, and Rebecca doesn't ask any further questions and leaves immediately. The next morning, when Sophia asks all the students to open their textbooks, Sarah is shocked to find a cigarette in her book. As a result, Sarah can only cry when she is taken to the principal's office, where she confesses that the cigarette isn't hers. But unfortunately, Sarah got suspended from school for some time. After this, the entire school and hostel are checked, and a bottle of liquor comes out of Jason's room as well. When it comes time to punish Jason for it, Sophia asks the father and nun to give him a small punishment. That he has to help with the cleaning of the school this weekend. Sophia punished him so that he could stay at school that weekend. Now here's come the plot twist, she's not real nun, she has a crush on Jason, and she comes to knew that he study in St. Adeline Catholic School, and recently St. Adeline hires Sister Sophia, so she goes to real Sister Sophia takes out a rod and hit her in the head, later she buried her in the jungle, then she takes her place and becomes Sister Sophia. Now Jason stopped at the school to clean up. During this cleanup, Sophia helps Jason and tries her best to seduce him. That night, while Jason is sleeping in his room, Sophia walks into the room, turns on her phone's recording, and hides it behind the books. Sensing someone in his room, Jason woke up and was very surprised to find Sophie there. It turns out that Sophia wants to get clapped very hard by Jason. At first, Jason refused because he was afraid of sin, but the temptation was so strong that Jason was deluded. The next morning, Jason is shown feeling very guilty because he clapped a nun. Later, when there is no one in Jason's room, Sophia comes to his room and starts smelling Jason's clothes. After school, Jason intends to confess all his actions. However, Jason was surprised to find out that the person who heard his confession was not the priest but Sister Sophia. She then entered the confessional and sat on his lap, and both of them commit sins once again. Then, when the weekend arrived, as usual, Jason and Zoe returned home. Jason goes to a party where Sarah gets close to him and starts kissing him. She might want to get clapped by him, but he's only thinking about his sister Sophia. He stops her Sarah from kissing him and decides to leave the party. On his way out, a police officer stops him because he's holding a beer bottle. He almost gets in trouble, but luckily Sophia shows up just in time and saves him. Jason is worried about going home drunk, so Sophia takes him to her place. And she invites him to go to Paris with her. Under the Eiffel Tower, they will both clap each other. Sophia claims to be very wealthy and promises to help Jason become a famous singer, which confuses him and makes him angry. He tells her that he doesn't want to be with her and leaves. Jason sits by the side of the road feeling upset when his father arrives and supports him in focusing on his music career. Meanwhile, the next day, Jason finds Sophia on his bed, pretending to have fainted due to an overdose. In a panic, he tries to save her by doing mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, when she suddenly starts kissing him, much to Jason's surprise. 
Realizing that the cunning woman tricked him, he warns that he'll report her to Father Macy. However, the nun is unfazed and threatens to release their video, so he'll be forever remembered as the boy who slept with a nun. In classroom, Sophia asks Jason to take the prayer. Unknown to her, her sister Rebecca was watching her from the door and noticed she didn't say a word of prayer, to Sophia's surprise. Sarah returns to school. The principal told Sarah to go to class and attend classes as usual because her sentence was over. Jason and Sarah's relationship was close again. They were often seen alone and affectionately, which ignited a fire of jealousy and anger in Sophia. Sophia then came up with a plan to get rid of Sarah. Afterwards, while Sarah is taking a shower, Sister Sophia suddenly appears and forcefully slams Sarah's head against the wall. She then drops a soap bar on the floor to make it seem like an accident. Sophia smiles at herself in the mirror, feeling completely satisfied. Later, Zoe discovers Sarah's body and screams for help. The ambulance arrives and takes the body away. The other students in the dormitory believe that Sarah died from a fall in the bathroom. They gather at the church, looking sad, except for Sophia, although it doesn't last long. Jason confronts Sophia, but she shows him a video of both of them together from the previous day. When the weekend arrives, Jason and Zoe are picked up by their parents. Sophia is not happy because Jason is leaving, so she asks Sister Rebecca for permission to attend her Aunt Frances' funeral. Jason and Zoe are having dinner at a restaurant with their parents. Sister Sophia shows up there and introduces herself as Jason's teacher. David, their father, invites her to join them. She tells them that their kids are very talented, Jason was very confused and nervous. Meanwhile, Sister Rebecca, who has her own doubts, calls the hospital to inquire about a patient named Francis. To her surprise, she learns that no such person exists, which makes her realize that Sister Sophia has been lying. After dinner, Zoe confronts her brother about Sister Sophia. Jason finally admits the truth to his sister that he clapped Sister Sophia. Now Sister Sophia blackmailing him, Zoe decides to help his brother. The next day, while Rebecca is talking to Sophia, Jason and Zoe sneak into Sophia's room and find a laptop there. They discover many photos of the real Sophia on that laptop, revealing that this laptop belongs to the genuine Sophia. Jason also finds another laptop, the fake one belonging to Sophia, which contains many pictures of him. Upon examining the laptop, they discover that the fake Sophia's real name is Laura. They decide to keep the laptop as evidence to take action against her. Meanwhile, when Rebecca confronts Sophia about her lies, why she lied about her Aunt Frances' death. Sophia becomes desperate to hide the truth but fails to do so. In a fit of anger, Sophia violently attacks Rebecca, causing her to lose consciousness. Jason and Zoe go to the church in search of Rebecca, and Sophia follows them there. Sophia realizes that both Jason and Zoe have discovered the truth and she attempts to harm Zoe. In rage, Jason attacked Sophie, but she hit his eggs. Now he's unavailable to become a father. However, Rebecca regains consciousness and joins the fight against Sophia. Sophia nearly kills Rebecca, but Jason intervenes and defends sister, ultimately killing Sophia with a screwdriver in self-defense. Some months later, we see Jason and Zoe graduating, and they celebrate their achievements. Zoe receives a car as a gift, and Jason's father gift him the guitar, and the movie ends here. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.